Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, May 28th, 2019. Here are our latest church militant headlines. Newly published letters prove Pope Benedict imposed penalties on Theodore McCarrick, and Cardinal Wuerl knew all about it. Monsignor Anthony Figueredo, former personal secretary to McCarrick, published voluminous correspondence today proving that Wuerl lied when he claimed last year that he had no knowledge of restrictions placed on McCarrick. The letters also prove McCarrick ignored the restrictions and traveled internationally under both Popes Benedict and Francis, although his travel ramped up considerably under Francis. Read the full testimony on our website. The Holy Father is condemning abortion under any circumstance. On Saturday, Pope Francis said that even if the unborn child is fatally ill, he can never be deliberately killed, comparing abortion to hiring a hitman. He made clear that even babies destined to die shortly after birth still deserve medical care in the womb, and said abortion is not merely a religious issue, but a human issue. Trump is removing abortion coverage from Obamacare. The Department of Health and Human Services announced a new rule Friday that takes out health insurance coverage for abortion from the Affordable Care Act. Pro-life and pro-family organizations are praising the rule for restoring conscience protections to health care providers who believe abortion is a grave evil. Catholics are objecting to one of Trump's judicial nominees. On Wednesday, Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri grilled Michael Bogren over his comparing a Catholic family that refused to host a same-sex wedding to the KKK. You think, that the, you think that the Catholic families pointing to the teachings of their church is equivalent to a KKK member invoking Christianity? From That's a legal, your view? From a legal perspective. You can just give me a yes or no answer on that From a legal one. perspective, Senator, can you there, say is, no? there is no distinction. It remains unclear whether Bogan will get enough votes for confirmation. Pope Francis is warning against racism after the huge populist wins in the European elections. After populist parties won the vote in multiple countries over the weekend, including Italy, Poland, Hungary, France, and the UK, the pontiff gave a speech yesterday warning against the rise of intolerance and meanness. In his words, quote, Today's world is increasingly becoming more elitist and cruel towards the excluded, close quote. Pope Francis is known for favoring a globalist agenda. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about cardinals pretty in red. And check out the download. The panel discusses populist wins in Europe. God bless you.